Since news first emerged last year of British citizens fighting and dying for terrorist groups in Syria, the government in London has been worried about potential blowback here in the UK. While the UK government ignored the threat for many years as it directly supported militants fighting Syrian President Bashar al-Assad, the recent occupation of various cities in Iraq by the Takfiri terrorist group Islamic State of Iraq and the Levant, ISIL, has caused Prime Minister David Cameron to label them the biggest threat to national security. The events in Iraq in the last week are not some distant remote conflict that has nothing to do with Britain. His argument is this, if ISIS is allowed to achieve its objectives in Iraq, then that will pose a very serious threat to British security. A lot of British citizens who have gone to fight in Iraq, and it's believed, according to some sources, to number something like 450, they could return to the UK and they could pose a very, very potent threat to British security. His statement comes as police admitted that two British extremists who were under investigation for violent offences fled the UK and are believed to be fighting in Syria. The police will be questioned about how the men managed to escape from under their noses and how they plan to stop more UK citizens from joining ISIL. By all accounts, they're not the, la they're not the first and they're not the last. These battlefield victories for ISIS in Syria and now in Iraq will certainly appeal to a lot of um, extremists in the Middle East, in North Africa, but also in Europe as well. That's the big fear for the British government. That's the big fear for the American government. Where it goes from here is very difficult to tell. Analysts say that tough decisions lie ahead for Mr Cameron. On the one hand, he's already indicated that Britain won't be getting involved militarily. On the other, he stated that ISIL represent the gravest threat to Britain's national security. Doing nothing won't reduce that threat, but taking part in military action will almost certainly increase it, an unenviable position for any politician to find himself in. Issa Ali, Press TV, in London.